Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Avengers. Please excuse this mascara I dropped down my clean jumper. Um, guys, we're on episode 12. I made it. I have made it. I need, I just, I need a medal. I think I do. I don't want to toot my own horn. I do just think I need a medal. I am so proud of myself for pushing through the audios. I'm just so proud of myself. And I was talking to someone on Patreon and they're really excited for me to get like fully into it. And I'm excited. Obviously we've got some recons. Um, and I have been told that the recons do start quite short. Also, please excuse the lighting. Look at that shadow from the laptop. Um, so I probably will, for the next couple at least, listen to the audios privately and then watch the recons. Um, I know that there was also another idea thrown about that maybe I put like two uploads together. I can't promise anything. It may be that you get like two Avengers uploads a week on Patreon. Please don't hold me to that. It really, really does depend. I'm probably not going to put them together like editing wise or on YouTube just because my brain does not work that way. I like things to be in their individual slots. But it may be that you get a couple of uploads quicker than quicker than you maybe normally would so that's I'm just gonna have to figure it out as I go but I'm I'm just I appreciate their recons hang on I've got a really stupid question do the recons mean that we have the audio of the original I can't remember I know I know I've had recons I can't actually remember or do they take the audio from this you'll have to let me know um I'm just so excited and also again I was talking to someone on Patreon about how obviously the Steed and Dr Keel that I know are different to the original so it's like having to because I don't I don't really know Steed in in the actual version we've had Dr Keel but we haven't had Steed so that'll be interesting let me have a look Recon, recon, episode exists. Recon, 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 episode exists. Recon, 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 recon. Also, I know I've said it before, but to the person that sent me this and everything Avengers that I've got, like, just thank you because the person's written. Let me just show you. Hang on a sec. So they've written in it, if you can see, they've let me know if the recon exists and it's just rude. It's just been such a helpful guide. So thank you. Thank you for saving my bacon. This one's called Dance With Death. Hang on. England's Erlen. Dance with Death, yes. Oh, we've got Terry Malloy in it. I mean, it just says at the top, Dr. Keel is framed for murder and Steed investigates a dance school. Okay. <laughs> Let's get going. The loop is over there. Oh, don't bring the heater in, it's dangerous. Didn't you hear what I said? Take it outside. No. No, what are you doing? No! Keep it away from me! No! How are you getting on? Fine, thanks. Is it I'm electrocuted. That's oh, nice. Great, That's yeah. lovely. I rang Dr. Treading for you.
and gentlemen, but we have an emergency. Uh, can Dr. Keel come to the foyer? Oh, of course. Can Dr. Keel come to the foyer? I'm here. Sorry. My God, I'd be so embarrassed. Sorry. Thank you. Ah, good. She's got a strong pulse now. I wouldn't worry too much about her, Mr. Price. It was very lucky you arrived in time. I never liked her working here so late. She gets so tired, what with all the dance classes and the paperwork. But I can't understand how it happened. Her gas fire. It was just flooding the room. Oh, the police will probably sort that out when they get here. The police? Uh, it's routine in this sort of situation, I'm afraid. Now, drink this, Elaine. I hope they won't bother her with a lot of questions. I can tell them anything they want to know. I was here until eight. A gas tap was on. You had a narrow escape. Gas? What happened, Doctor? Apparently Mr. Price here came to take you home and found you were in your office. He had to force the door to get you out. I had a cup of tea, then or Trevor went out to get you. Trevor meal. was there because he I did it. At night. It stops me sleeping. And anyway, there were the books. Elaine always does the books. Yes, I thought she would be. Uh, no need to send for an ambulance, nothing like that. No, we'll give her a few more minutes walking around, and then she can go home and rest. Right, you are, sir. Did she tell you what happened? No, not really. I'd postpone the questions for a bit, if you can. Oh, hysterical, eh? No, I wouldn't say so. What makes you think that? Well, between you and me, sir, this isn't the first time. According to her, someone's trying to kill her. What? Well, she came to us some time ago. We checked up, but, you know, mm. it is uh, being a doctor. Some people get cranky ideas. Murders, spies, and beings from other planets, of course. We always check up, make a report. There was no doubt in this case. He had a very narrow escape. I don't doubt it, sir. It's amazing how far they can go sometimes. It's a tragedy, really. Funny what tricks people's minds get up to. Sergeant, so you've not taken her seriously? Agreed. We'll both keep an open mind on it. Anyway. She needs help. Well, I think that's more your field than mine, Doctor. But if she was overcome by gas, why did you do all this black coffee and walking her up and down? That's drugs, isn't it? Oh, I see. You really thought she'd been drugged first and then the gas mm. turned on. Yes, but I'm still not sure. According to the police, she's an hysterical subject. So... But I don't know. She's level-headed enough. It's her boyfriend who was doing all the big flap. Odd. I mentioned gas. They gave each other a strange look. Well, she's punctual anyway. She's waiting outside. You ready? Uh, yes, fine. Yes. Mr. Caswell, I assume. Ah, good morning, good morning. I've brought the prospectus, Mr. Um... Keel, doctor. Ah, doctor. And you want to learn to trip the light fantastic with those pretty nurses, I dare say. Mr. Caswell. Major. I'm Miss Bateman's doctor. Eh? Hey. Oh. Um, beg your pardon, you didn't say. Uh, yes. It's a great tragedy. A sad loss to us all. She won't be away very long. But I don't understand. He thought she was dead because he did it. Sorry, I'm on the phone. Uh, Mr. Webster, there's only one point that interests me. Miss Bateman is no longer concerned. I explained to you before, the partnership between Miss Bateman and Caswell is wound up in the event of death. So, you can go ahead and draw up the new contract. I appreciate there will be some delay. Well, I, I've been associated with the Academy. Major Caswell has always wanted me to be a partner, but what was one thing or another? Uh, what? No, oh, but now, since Miss Bateman's death, I think it's the least I can do. After all, I can't expect him to run this place on his own. Mrs. Mark, I, I must speak to you at once. Dr. Keel here. Please be quiet. I'm talking to the solicitor now. She's not That's dead. just it. Elaine isn't dead. Who's told them that she's no. dead? Sure, you were wearing it? Well, I might have dropped it at the academy. The academy? Yes, you know, the dancing place. I took Miss Bateman her tonic. How is she? Oh, she was taking a lesson. I only saw her for a moment. 
She's still worried about someone killing her. Uh, she's still got her problems. Is lunch ready? Yes. Mrs. Biggs was issuing ultimatums 20 minutes ago. You haven't got your scarf because someone's oh, going to frame you. In that case, I'd better nip out and get her a bottle you, of you, scarf. You can tell I read thriller books and everything because I just don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone. Oh, but leave the light on. I have to see to... Beth? Someone is trying to kill her. Beth, are you there? Who is that? Who's there? She shouldn't have even been back at work. What time's it coming? What's this about a story? I made it plain enough. We weren't seeing anybody. We'll discuss it later. Mr. Rogers, this is my daughter, Valerie, our chief instructress. How do you do? Come along, Mr. Rogers. I'll show you the formation dance class first. That sounds rather jolly. They all do the same steps at the same time, don't they? Darling, we don't want everybody to know about this. This isn't just another of the reporters. He's from one of the Sundays. I've promised him an exclusive interview. Oh, Mummy! Elaine Bateman, as I knew her, with pictures. And it'll be marvellous publicity for the school. And they're paying for it very handsomely. Oh, Mummy! They're going mommy. to take pictures of me. Oh, can I borrow your necklace? Necklace? The diamonds. They'll go marvellously with my new dress. The diamonds? Oh, but Mummy, think what a picture it would make. Go on, Mummy, please. Please. Oh. Oh, perhaps you're right. But you must take great care of them. I know the diamonds are insured, but they have great sentimental value. I was looking at this person. I've seen that face before. Perhaps it was this morning. It would be fresh in your mind, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, it was. But it didn't register. We've got a photo of this one back at the office in our CN catalogue. New what? The change of name catalogue. It's a photo dossier of all people who commit a major crime. Mm. We're sure they're guilty, but because of a lack of evidence or some other reason, it isn't proven. Mm. They get away with it and disappear. Crop up under a different name somewhere. Everywhere we go, we keep one eye open for a familiar face. I'm sure this one was tried and acquitted for... for what? Fraud? Murder. It isn't so long, is it? Look, here's the necklace I said you could borrow. Do your face and hair, and for goodness sake, look cheerful. Mummy, for the last time, will you let me do what I want to? No, I will not. I'm sick and tired of hearing you go on and on about it. Who's the face that Steve you recognized You've never done though. anything for me. You're the most selfish person I ever met. How dare <laughs> Valerie, are you? Oh. If the pattern is the same, yes. Mm. But if he's so good at doing the vanishing trick, why did he hang on after Elaine was killed? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe he's got his eye on somebody else. Valerie. Bob. Bob. Uh, yes, sir. You haven't got any draft beer, I suppose. No, sir. So it's Trevor. This is a cocktail bar. Oh. Well, in that case, two Colonel Bogies, please. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Phillips. I hope your room is quite satisfactory. Yes, thank you. It's fine, isn't it, darling? Fine. By the way, you don't have a restaurant in the hotel, do you? I'm sorry, sir. Well, we could send up some sandwiches to your room. Oh, it doesn't matter. I could do with a breath of fresh air, anyway. Where's the nearest decent restaurant? Well, sir, I wouldn't exactly like to recommend the local places. This isn't much of an area, unless you like Chinese food. Yes. Why not? How about you, darling? What? Fancy a Chinese meal? If you like. I, d I don't mind. Where is the restaurant? The Sam Pan in Sutherland Street. Do you know it? No, but I'll find it. Just one moment, sir. I've got their card in the office. It's got a map on it. It really doesn't matter. You're very quiet tonight. I'm all right. I've got a bit of a headache. Oh. Shall I try and get some aspirin? No. Philip, do we have to go out? I do feel a bit, you know, I I'd much rather stay here, quietly. But I thought you'd like to celebrate. Please, darling. Oh, all right. I'll send down later the sandwiches. Come on. <laughs> Hello. What are you up to? Nothing. What have you got there? A film of 
me in the lane. I see. He was blackmailing me. Who? Philip Anthony. He promised to give it back to me, but now he's gone off. If my father found out, or they got to hear about it at work... I wouldn't feel too bad about it. Wouldn't you? Look at these. Elaine got around, didn't she? He must have made a lot of money out of her. Shall I burn this? No, it's mine. I paid enough for it. And it's the last picture of her I'll ever see. This is how she really was. Maybe. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. No, not now. I'll be all right, thanks. I'm sure. Take a look at this photograph. Yes, sir. That's the lady, all right. Mrs. Phillips. Phillips? What's the number of their room? Number 14, but I'm afraid they're not in, sir. Any idea when they'll be back? Well, they should be back any time now, sir. They went out about an hour ago to get a meal. Oh. In that case, I think we'll wait. Certainly, sir. If you'd like to go into the lounge, and when Mr. and Mrs. Phillips come in, I'll tell them you're here. I'd rather you didn't. Mm. It's in the nature of a surprise. Doesn't know they're in their room. Excuse me, sir. Your boot. Is it locked? My boot? Of your car, sir. Oh, yes, I think it is. Why? I'll get your luggage out, sir. Oh, you're the porter. Don't worry, we didn't bring any luggage. No luggage? No, you you see, we didn't contemplate a long stay. I beg your pardon? Miss Bateman, new gardener. How do you know? My dancing teacher told me. Where is he? Have you got on to him? Yes, he's here with Valerie Mann, room 14. They're registered as Mr. and Mrs. Phillips. That'll please Mrs. Mann. What are we waiting for? They're out having a meal. Uh, hello, room service. Right. You're more interested in the diamonds than in me. That's not true. Isn't it? Ever since we arrived, you've been on about them. Now that you've got them, perhaps you'll be happy. Not until you're happy, too. I'm only thinking of you. Come on. You're tired. Jump into your bath. You'll feel much better. Oh, all right. Philip, you do love me, don't you? Till death is too far. I won't be long. Take as long as you like. What an aw sorry, that's like such a savage way of killing someone. Warming up? Mm, lovely, darling. I'll get the electric fire for you. You'll be cold when you get out. It's awful. Like he just watches his victims ele like electrocute. Listen, I can't hear nothing. He's turned the taps off. Give me your keys. <laughs> one i really really enjoyed that one i felt like we had a really good amount of dr keel and steed i feel like now as well i'm kind of getting into the flow of steed i just need to now convert convert from this steed that i know to the the original steed um i liked the characters i liked that it was a little bit darker as in he was killing people by electrocuting them which is just awful um I like that it was almost a, a hist it was a historic case as well being solved. I I really enjoyed that. I just wish we got to see Steve doing his dance class. <laughs> That's something I would want to see. Um, yeah, again, maybe it's because I'm I, I do feel like I'm settling into the characters now, the understanding of the show. And maybe I'm just very excited that I'm now on the recons. I just feel so grateful. This felt so long away. This felt so far away when I started. And um, yeah, I'm just very excited. Yeah, I really, really liked that episode. You'll have to let me know your thoughts. You'll have to let me know what 30 shillings is or whatever, 
whatever the price was at the bar when he was like, how much? 20 shillings? I don't know what, 30 quid, 40 quid? I have no idea. Um, yes, really enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you, I don't think I'm seeing you next week, but I will see you in a couple of weeks time for episode 13. Bye.